everyone and welcome to this edition of What's New in Tennis. Today we're going to talk about a new book called 90 Years to the Top. It's a history of the Buckinghamshire County Lawn Tennis Association. Now, that may sound a little bit dull on the surface, but the book is far from dull. Uh, it's been written by a chap called David Orchard and I bumped into David at the Kenneth Ritchie Library up at the All England Club a few weeks ago. Uh, he was researching there and he told me about his book. Uh, I've arranged to get a review copy from the Bucks LTA and what a wonderful book it is. I'm going to talk about it in a moment but first I'd like to read you a little extract. Okay, uh, we're at the end of the 1920s and David the author gives a commentary on the tennis scene at that time. I quote, Recovery of tennis after the horrors of the First World War was surprisingly rapid, especially considering the loss of so many young men. At the end of this period there were 2,000 affiliated clubs with over 200 tournaments and over 20,000 entries. Nationally this was a time of growth in sports in general and tennis in particular. Although there were periods of hardship, there was generally a feeling of optimism with a shorter working week and increased disposable income, especially in the southeast. There was also an increase in motorised transport. Sporting activities became increasingly accessible to all levels of society. In 1927, BBC Radio carried its first live sports commentary, and the 1920s saw the start of sports journalism. People became more interested in participating in sport, not just watching it. The Championship of Wimbledon now attracted thousands, not hundreds, of spectators. The Whiteman Cup, the annual match for women between the USA and Great Britain, was first presented in 1923. The most dominant nation during this period was France, with leading lady player Suzanne Longlet and the four musketeers, Barotra, Brugnon, Cochet and Lacoste. There was some success for British ladies in the Wimbledon doubles in 1928 and 1929, with Phoebe Holcroft-Watson and Peggy Saunders twice winning the title in all British finals. The book is available from the Buckinghamshire County Law and Tennis Association. It costs £15 plus postage, and I thoroughly recommend that you get a copy and read it. Cheerio!